Hello everyone and welcome back to Shri FC. I hope you all are well and good. That's the most important thing. My area has been flooded, so I really hope you all are well. You are watching all well and good. Do put your opinion in the comment section below of the video or the feedback and your opinion on Vialovic and will he make a good transfer to Chelsea? I give my opinion on the video on the transfer. Should we go for it? And all the news is coming around. So the news we all know have known that Pochettino has been asking for a bit more experienced player. With Chelsea board have said that they agree with Pochettino because right now we are a very young team and Pochettino left to work with younger players but right now our team lacks experience in the forward line Meduke is very young, Mudrik is young uh, and Kuku is first time coming to the Premier League Sterling is experienced then you've got uh, Nicholas Jackson who is very young Armando Broja is experienced in Premier League but coming after an ACL injury and the team needs a striker where they can trust him to put 15-20 goals in the net and I think that this is why they're going after Vialovic and Dybala. Now Dybala is a very different player than Vialovic but he can suit in the Pochettino system but Vialovic is the most important striker for me. He's a better striker than Dybala. There's no point about it and overall his uh, attributes can really function well in the Chelsea system if he's really used and he plays at his best. So first of all a bit of background on Vialovic and See, I've been watching Vialovic since his favorite dinner days when he first came and the way he was before he moved to Juventus and I'll always remember him for the 21-22 season where Vialovic was just superb. He got his move to Juventus and after that the career has just not gone to the way it used. It has to be predicted to be and the problem with Vialovic at Juventus has been the injuries and Juventus itself has been a club which has been an absolute turmoil like Chelsea so somewhat I will not use his Juventus time and I do want to go a bit back. And I'll later come in the video on a bit of concern Vialovic which Chelsea need to be careful of. See, under Fiorentina, he was fantastic. Like he was a pure, pure striker to watch. He is a left-footed striker and some of the shots he used to have his left foot were absolute beauty. They were very, very good shots and he used to have very good power in the shots as well. He's also a very, very good penalty taker which Chelsea need to decide next season. And the most important thing as a striker, like Romelu Lukaku, first touch is disastrous, hold the place disastrous. With Vialovic, he used to get aerial strength. You used to have physical strength. In Fiorentina days, he used to really hold the ball well. He used to be aerially strong and he used to have a very good finish among him. So, in Fiorentina, he used to be a very good player in the build-up. He used to help the team. He used to be a very good goal scorer. From his left foot, he used to really blast it. He was young, so sometimes he made wrong decisions. But he was a very, very good striker to watch. And then he got his deserved move to Juventus. But sadly, it just never worked. But he's a very good striker. He can hold the ball well. He can hit the ball well. He can be a very good penalty uh, taker. He is also a player that's got a very good hold up play and can really play well in a possession based team and is a very very good player. If you see Syria stats in 140 games in overall career, he has had around 61 goals and in the season he got his move to uh, Juventus, he had 36 games, 24 goals and he was a fantastic player. Even last season his stats were not that bad to be honest, he had 10 goals in 27 matches around but overall for a player that you pay that money Juventus paid, you expect a bit more. And now I am coming to the concern I said about Vialovic, the biggest concern of Vialovic is the recurring uh, injuries and a groin problem he has. Chelsea already have a players in the team whose fitness is not really top and you're always worried for Chelsea players to get injured and the only worry for me will Vialovic is if he's really carrying the growing problem I don't want Chelsea to pay 80 million for a striker who has injury problems because then we are back to square one if we spend 80 million on Vialovic we cannot sign another striker for two three years that's massive money and if he comes here he's injured for the most time then it's going to be a problem his last season at Juventus was really affected by injuries four five games then he had a bit of injury and that was a problem which really made him suffer at Juventus and that is a bit of concern for Vialovic but overall as we can see the news Chelsea have put an offer of 65-70 million they have inquired it but Juventus are holding out for 75-80 million now is he worth 75-80 to 80 million most probably not but a lot of players in this market are not worth it but I can tell you one thing that Dusan Vialovic can be a very good striker if he can sign because the attributes this guy has got good hold up play he's really very good he fits like a glove in a Pochettino system and a person who is admired for developing youngsters there's no better combination so if it's up to me or if we can sign in without any injury problems then I will say go for Vialovic. I have a bit of worry for Nicholas Jackson and Broha that if you're bringing Vialovic boss the pathway of these youngsters but my also another concern is that the team has just not got any goals right now and that is another concern. So this is why for me if Chelsea can do it if we can add some experience and Nicholas Jackson is still a young guy I will go for Vialovic because I think Vialovic at his best 
could give us 17 18 goals next season in the league and can be a very good striker who can straight away adjust in the Premier League. But because of the growing issue he has got, I wish that Chelsea, if they sign him, do a proper medical check and proper uh, like understanding information before they go for him. That is the only concern I've got Vialovic. Attitude one, I I don't think his attitude is bad. He's a very, very good player with a good attitude. He does give everything on the pitch and Overall, being very, very honest, guys, you cannot really blame a player to try to go from field in a UN test. Like many players want to take the move. Mount went to United. You see how I was going to Arsenal. But when Mount used to play for Chelsea, he used to give 100%. So I think his attitude is good. And I think his attributes are what Chelsea need right now. A striker that can hold the pay well, play in a possession-based system, score goals, good with his left foot. And overall, a striker that really combines well with Sterling, combines well in Medioke and can create a good partnership. The only concern for me is the injuries because if we pay 70 million to sign Vialovic and then he's injured for half the season, then 70 million in the drain, not a good message to Nicholas Jackson and Broha, and the whole team will collapse. But if he comes here, he, he fully fit, he scores 17 18 goals, then I think we should be taking that risk because in a team you can make pathways for a player. But right now, Nicholas Jackson is a very young striker, Mudrik is a very young winger, Meduke is a very young winger, Broha is coming after an ACL, and nobody knows Porturino might try to play two striker system. Sterling at Chelsea, his overall start has not been really top class, and then Kuku is coming new to this league. So Chelsea do need goals in the team. So this is why I think we should be going for him. But we should be careful with the injury record. So this was my opinion on Vialovic people. Do hit the like, subscribe and do give your opinion on Desan Vialovic Chelsea. Thank you.